above normal. I said the things that no, normal said, people you, are going to ask. You said, well, you basically called me sub-normal. Well, you're above normal. Oh, okay. okay. Got our uh oh. Don't not do it when it's still happening because. Welcome to another episode of That's Trucking with your host, me, Trucker Warren. Right here, this is the this would be the muscle of the auxiliary battery system. I've got six golf cart batteries here. Each one of them uh, are six volt. I combine two of them to make 12 volt. That's called in series, and then I parallel them with three other banks, and that bumps up the amp hours. So all total, I have 630 amp hours. And that feeds this system back here. This is more or less the heart of the system. This is a 2500 watt Xantrex. It's an inverter, it'll run most of your household goods, your ovens, your microwave ovens, your TVs, charger computers. 2500 watts. Now the nice thing about this Xantrex is that it also has a built-in charger. So this wire right here runs back to my generator, so should I be sitting for more than two or three days, I can fire up the generator to go ahead and charge the battery system with a built-in charger. This also has a built-in transfer switch so that when you do turn on the generator, it'll bypass the batteries and run straight from the generator without having to change the plugs on the inside. What do you got over here? Well, this here is my on-off switch, so if I ever do want to service the uh, Xantrex without disconnecting the batteries, I can shut it off right here. This little piece right here, this is called a shunt, and that precisely measures the amount of amps going either to the batteries or coming from the batteries, uh, so that you can monitor, and that's that little piece that I showed inside in the last video, so that you can monitor, kind of like a fuel gauge, how much battery power that you have left. And then these are just some 12 volt systems that I have inside the truck I run my deep freezer and my refrigerator off of that they're running continuously and this wire right here this is comes from a block ground from the engine which brings us to the next part of the system here see I got to think it I'm driving all day long right well, why use a generator when you can harness the power of the truck to charge your batteries to do whatever you want to do at night watch TV cook your meals so I started doing some research and I found out that the marine industry has the best systems out there. And I've learned a lot from the marine industry. So we installed this item called a charge relay, an automatic charge relay. It's not like a it's not like a battery isolator. It'll charge both sets of batteries at the same time. But this is nice because within about five or six hours of driving, my batteries are fully brought back topped off. So we talked about this inside piece uh, in the last episode, just very briefly. So I just wanted to go ahead and touch a couple more bases with this. This is the fuel gauge. This is the part that I was talking about outside that uh, connected with the shunt. Right now, what you're looking at is the amount of amp hours used. So since I've been sitting here for the last couple hours, this is what I've drawn from the batteries. You see these little lights right across the top here? That's kind of like a full three-quarter of a tank, half-quarter of a tank, quarter of a tank kind of kind of deal. These lights here indicate that it's in invert mode right now, and if I did start the generator, it would charge. So that's how many amp hours there are right now, or how many I've used. At its current rate of consumption, that's how many hours I have left. This is the amount of volts that are left in the battery, and this is between this one here and which is the amount that's being consumed right now that's what that's what's being used out of the battery if I were to turn the TV on watch what happens when I turn the TV on see 
see how it jumps up and the amount of amperage that it's using. If I turn the TV off, it drops down. So right now it's probably the refrigerator or something is going that's using it. And if I turn invert off, this will turn off all of the uh, 120 volt draws that are on it right now. And I don't want to do that because I have some hard drives plugged in and whatnot right now. So, um, But anyway, so that's that's that on that system. Um, it's, it's, it's a very useful tool when you can see how many amp hours you've used and I have a 630 amp hour system you don't really want to go over two uh, about 50 percent so I would go 315 amp hours but I rarely get over 150 so that's it for that system right there obviously there's a lot more to this system than what I've showed you it's a pretty detailed system so if you'd like more information on the system go ahead and uh, send me a private comment or make a comment and uh, I could uh, give you more details about the system. You know, what it's really all about here for us on the road is quality of life. And for me, being able to eat better, make my own food, and do it while helping the environment and also uh, being quieter, you know, without all the noise of the generator. Um, you know, that's really what it's all about to me. Plus, I'm, I'm kind of a geek when it comes to this sort of thing, so I obviously enjoy it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of That's Trucking with Trevor Warren, and we look forward to seeing you next time.